well, well, well. I was wondering if you'd have the guts to show up. It's Wednesday, isn't it? And you're ready to play? Yes. Looks like it's just the two of us. Canasta is not ideally a two-handed game. Carl, I love your nerve. <laughs> How about a drink, then? Why not? You look wonderful, Nat. Why, thank you. Henry, I'll have a sea breeze. A vodka and tonic, please? Certainly, ma'am. We'll drink to the good memories. Oh, don't talk to me about memory. Memory is a very unreliable organ. Trust me, Carr. It's right up there with the penis. <laughs> oh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. I thought of it last night, and I can't get it out of my head. <clears throat> Which actor portrayed the most U.S. presidents in movies? <laughs> oh, you. Um, Henry Fonda? No, actual presidents. He played Lincoln, but in Failsafe, he was a fictional president. Oh, I don't know. Charlton Heston. Close, but only two. But no, it was Rip Torn. Ooh. He played Grant, Lyndon Johnson, and Richard Nixon. LBJ and Nixon, amazing. <laughs> Your drinks, Mr. Page. Thank you, Henry. Don't let them get you down. <laughs> well, I have had some illusions shattered. We all have. I thought we weren't an aggressor nation. I thought there was a separation between church and state. Hell, I even thought that the people elected the president. Oh. Uh -huh. You know, Carl, you've always intrigued me. You think you're a black sheep. You're not a black sheep at all. Do you remember the question you asked me about Robbie and Jack DeLorean? Yeah, I apologize. I was out of line. Your friend Robbie was up to something. Always follow the money. Sometimes it's oil, sometimes it's pharmaceuticals. I think it's time you and Lynn had a talk about that. I tried to reach her. She left town. I tried her mother's to no avail. Uh, do you have a pencil and paper? Oh. Mm. A pen, even better. You can be so naive. Now, you can reach her here. Don't be so goddamn polite. Now, um, what were we talking about? Ripton. No. We were talking about your wanting to be a black sheep. In the end, all you have is your breeding. It's all that separates them from us. Breeding. Mm. My great-grandfather got rich off slavery. And when the Yankees took that away, my grandfather made his money raising tobacco. I don't have any breeding. If your great-grandfather were alive today, he'd fit right in. <laughs> <laughs>